Hey everybody, really quick um, video here for FSI DFS for um, the Thursday night football slate. Mega Ruler 31 on real location here, so I don't have my normal setup, so just recording this quick on my iPad. So uh, Buffalo has definitely struggled over the last couple of games. Went out to London, came back, and uh, lost to New England. Just haven't looked as sharp. I don't know if Allen's injured. Um, I know he's had some shoulder issues. Wind last week in New England was kind of throwing things off too. So uh looks like if you look at um, Vegas, it's going to be a bounce back game here that they're supposed to win by like nine and a half points here. So I think the game will be closer than that. Uh, Baker Mayfield is banged up with a knee injury. My guess is he starts. I know Godwin's also questionable, but I think he'll be fine too. So pretty much I'm going Buffalo and cash here. Either Allen or Diggs a captain and then taking the other one in flex. Throwing in Kincaid without Knox there, that really cleans up that situation. At least you're 5,300, 5,367 left. Uh, I'd love to try to get Evans in there to run it back. If not, Godwin works if you want to just go like buffalo like annihilation um you can maybe throw otten in there it's a cheap piece for um in the passing game for uh, tampa bay and then just absolutely load up on like bills players there uh gpp uh davis i mean he's like the ultimate like boomer bust um home run kind of like waddle like where you take hill for the volume for miami but then waddle's the one that you're really wanted in the gpp Allen and uh, we're gonna run that one back with Godwin. I mean, if you want to go Evans there, I'm fine. Or however you you want to play that. Um, Otten is cheaper. Mayfield, if um you want to go there, and then fill in for a GPP. I think like the Buffalo running game stole a mess. Like Murray has started some games and then Cook took some more snaps. Uh, last week, it, it's just been kind of all over the place with the two of them. Now they do have a guy out on IR now. Like so, the backfield clears up just a little bit, but I think still it's just going to be an absolute mess to try to figure out. So, um, you know, Harris is the one that's on IR now. Uh, as for like some of the other plays, like carrying wise, I definitely you want to go with a Tampa Bay build with the spread there. So, Evans and Merrifield, Allen, I mean, doesn't leave you a lot. So, if you want to run it back with Diggs or Godwin or Kincaid, I, I completely get that there. But you pretty much want to go stand at Tampa Bay. I guess the ultimate, like, contrarian one would be if you put White in or Tampa Bay D at captain, one of those two, and then just built that Tampa Bay just kind of dominates that Buffalo just can't uh, get it together. And they just uh, control the, I mean, Bowles is a defensive coach uh, as um, their head coach. You know, he was a successful defensive coordinator at uh, Arizona, coach D-backs and stuff. So hopefully we come up with a decent game plan for that. So with, with that, I mean, is it possible that the Buffalo, it's like the Jets game early where he throws like three or four interceptions and, you know, they can control the game on the on the ground and, and then, you know, pick up what they need to through the air and, you know, Buffalo doesn't do much. Yeah, I think that's a great contrarian bull if you want to go in that direction. So uh, kickers, I think Bass is better in cash, uh, McLaughlin and GPP, but if you need McLaughlin in cash, no um, no problems there. I wouldn't play the Bill with D in cash, but I wouldn't um, play Tampa Bay. wouldn't be in cash. That'd be definitely a GPP build there. So it's like cash fill-ins. We're looking at Evans. White, the running back, just because even though um, – there are some other guys in that backfield. They brought Chase Edmonds in from Arizona. Uh, formerly, he had some success there, and you still have Vaughn in the backfield. Uh, it, it seems like some of the other ones have kind of faded away so or are injured and out. So I think White pretty much has the volume here if they choose to use it. So I think he's viable for cash. And then, like I said, the Buffalo running back situation is just an absolute mess. Uh Punt wise, like if you want to go cheap, Captain Kincaid, I think it makes a lot of sense with Allen, then run it back with Baker Mayfield. In that build, you can pretty much put in whoever you want to for that. Just when you go to cheap captain, it really um, helps. I don't think there's any like super, super cheap captain that I'd really, I mean, Edmonds at 200 bucks. I, I think I could throw him in some lines, and he doesn't really need to do much. And he or Vaughn would be decent. Like I said, Otten's pretty cheap. Uh, Palmer's the third wide receiver on Tampa Bay, uh, another relatively cheap guy out there. And then 
with um they might need to go with more three wide receiver sets if Kincaid's actually playing tight end and not like the slot or the third wide receiver so I think that opens up for uh, Hardy or Shakir uh, Sherfield I don't think we'll see as much action but he's always in play also so Again, I think you cash just want to focus on Buffalo with the blowout if you agree at Vegas. If you want to go a little bit more contrarian and GPPs, then go more of a, a Tampa Bay build, especially if you want to get super contrarian and go with like the white Tampa Bay defense. I, I kind of like that build. I don't have it up on the screen here, but that's why you watch the videos you, and just don't look at the screen. You find out some things um, that sometimes aren't up there just for the people that just take a look at it and just go from there so appreciate you watching if you have any questions put them in the chat below you can be up at megaro31 on twitter slash x and um if you haven't checked out our x slash twitter uh, nba has been free for the first uh, week so if you want to get in that uh, look for the promo code and uh sign up for that mckinley's still killing it in hockey um they're they're doing good we have hockey videos monday through friday so uh Watch those, and I've got a couple more weeks of NASCAR going on, and we'll be back for um, later this weekend for the main slate for NFL for uh, week, week seven or eight, whatever week we're on now. That seems like season's flying by really fast, so appreciate you watching. You know how to get a hold of me. Good luck in your contest. Hopefully you um, have great success, and it leads to uh, the start of a good weekend. So.